Comic Con is over. It has been extraordinary. Um, there's so much stuff in that I've wanted to mention in previous blog posts, but I haven't because I haven't had the brain capacity to wrap around it and to describe it and just pulling out little moments of amazingness. Um, it's been really inspiring and I've learned so much and I've learned about the hard bits of the comic industry um, at the Eisner Award, seeing how many comic creators who were in memoriam were in their early 60s, uh, you know, the, seeing the, the harsh reality of this industry and this terrible news and the people that get left behind um, all slave away and don't get recognised. Um, it was really, I have to, I, I've, I, there's so much stuff that I haven't said and I want to do a big, big, big thank you to Lee Moyer who was someone that I bumped into in the line on the way here and through him got introduced to the awesome Portland crew and etc. and has been a fantastic touchstone person to call when looking, when, when feeling lost and wanting to, to, to do something or hang out with him and see him critique a uh, portfolio and I've learned so much more about pitching and about presentation and seeing amazing artwork and it's one thing to intellectually learn things and on panels and on web pages but to see physical works being physically created by somebody who really knows their bus the business is just great to be able to hang out with people in the biz uh, and uh, the number of people that I got to briefly chat to that I wanted to hang out with some more um, it was great to see Caden Grell there, he's um, at the Zuda table um, and chat to him today um, to chat to, to all the Aussies and to discover new Aussies including people in my own hometown that I didn't know would be here and making a documentary and, um, um, and I, I should get a great big list of names so I can read out of all cool people and not miss people off that list. Um, so I've met so many cool new people and yesterday I got fed sushi and sake by people who, did I mention that on a previous blog post by stopping at a, at a stall and chatting and I think it was my, my knowledge of Blake Seven got me sake and sushi so thank you Mikey for that. Um, it helped get me much better fed um, and yeah I've had to put a hold on my credit card so hopefully I can find it and hopefully it's not lost forever uh, but yeah um, got tomorrow to rest recover possibly go to the zoo because I've got this ticket burning a hole in my pocket and I'd like to use it and not waste it before going up to Portland and then on to Worldcon and so many leads to follow up and so much work to do and so much to get. Yeah, it's just very, very exciting and and I know also I've still got an enormous amount to learn about the business, about the art form, about the, the craft um, and it's it's really exciting to be a young thing with so much to learn, as well as a bit daunting and something you think, wow, this really is a crazy, crazy industry. Um, and yeah, I'll just try to hold on to the, my passion and, and, and enthusiasm and hopefully I won't get chewed up and spat out or anything like that. Yeah, I've got a good feeling and it was just very nice to meet a bunch of really, really great people and hopefully next year the seas of humanity and, and stuff will be just a little bit less confusing and, and I won't lose my keys five times in when I was looking for the credit card, my credit card and lost my 
I lost everything while I was looking for my credit card and then I'd find it and then I'd lose it again while I was searching the place and making the place extremely tidy in my cleaning um, frenzy of search and then pulling everything out and searching again. Um, but I'll keep you posted on the further adventures in Portland and then Worldcon. Travel safe and, and have loveliness of goodness. <laughs>